Once upon a time, there was a poor woodcutter named Ali Baba. He lived with his wife in a small house in a village. Every day, Ali Baba went to the forest to cut wood. He sold the wood in the market to get money to buy food and clothes. Life was hard for Ali Baba, but he was a kind and honest man. One day, while Ali Baba was working in the forest, he saw something strange. He saw 40 men on horses carrying heavy bags. Ali Baba thought they must be thieves because they looked dangerous. He quickly hid behind a tree to watch them. The thieves stopped in front of a big rock. The leader of the thieves stood in front of the rock and said, Open sesame. Suddenly, the rock opened, and there was a big cave inside. The thieves went into the cave with their bags of treasure, and the rock closed behind them. Ali Baba was amazed. He had never seen anything like this before. After some time, the thieves came out of the cave, and the leader said, Close sesame. The rock closed again, and the thieves rode away on their horses. When the thieves were gone, Ali Baba came out from his hiding place. He walked to the rock and said the words he had heard, Open sesame. To his surprise, the rock opened, and Ali Baba saw the same cave. Inside the cave, there were piles of gold, jewels, and other treasures. Ali Baba entered the cave. He couldn't believe his eyes there was more treasure than he had ever imagined. He decided to take a small amount of gold coins to help his family. He filled his pockets and said, Close sesame. The rock closed, and Ali Baba went home. When Ali Baba arrived home, he showed his wife the gold coins. She was very happy and wanted to know how much gold they had. She went to her sister-in-law's house and asked to borrow a scale to measure the gold. The sister-in-law gave her the scale but put some sticky wax on the bottom to see what they were measuring. Ali Baba's brother, Kasim, was a rich and greedy man. When his wife gave the scale back, they saw a gold coin stuck to the bottom. Kasim asked his wife where the gold came from. She told him that Ali Baba had found treasure in the forest. Kasim became very jealous and wanted to take the treasure for himself. The next day, Kasim went to Ali Baba's house. He asked his brother to tell him about the treasure. Ali Baba trusted Kasim, so he told him everything. He told him about the cave, the magic words, and the treasure inside. Kasim decided to go to the cave the next morning to get the treasure for himself. Kasim went to the cave with many empty bags. He stood in front of the rock and said, Open sesame. The rock opened, and Kasim went inside. He saw all the treasure and quickly filled his bags with gold, jewels, and silver. But when Kasim tried to leave, he couldn't remember the magic words. He said, Open wheat, open barley, but the rock did not open. Kasim was trapped inside the cave. Later that day, the 40 thieves returned to the cave. When they saw Kasim inside, they were very angry. They knew someone had discovered their secret hiding place. The thieves killed Kasim and left his body in the cave. When Kasim did not return home, his wife became worried. She asked Ali Baba to find him. Ali Baba went to the cave and found Kasim's body. He felt very sad for his brother. He took Kasim's body back home to give him a proper burial. The thieves wanted to find out who knew their secret. They searched for the person who took Kasim's body. The leader of the thieves decided to trick Ali Baba. He dressed as a merchant and went to Ali Baba's house with 40 large jars. But inside the jars, he hid the thieves, ready to attack Ali Baba. Ali Baba's servant, Morgiana, was very smart and loyal. She noticed something strange about the jars. When she checked, she found the thieves hiding inside. Morgiana acted quickly. She poured hot oil into the jars and killed the thieves. She saved Ali Baba's life. The leader of the thieves escaped, but he didn't give up. He disguised himself again and went to Ali Baba's house. This time, he planned to kill Ali Baba during a celebration. But Morgiana recognized him and saw through his plan. During the celebration, she danced for the guests. 
While she was dancing, she pulled out a dagger and killed the leader of the thieves. Ali Baba was very grateful to Morgiana for saving his life twice. He gave her her freedom as a reward. From that day on, Ali Baba lived a happy life with his family, free from fear of the thieves. He kept the secret of the cave, but he only used the treasure to help his family live comfortably. In the end, Ali Baba learned that honesty and kindness are more important than wealth. He knew that greed, like Qasim's, could lead to trouble, while loyalty and bravery, like Morgiana's, could save lives.